What's good? I'm Margot the Xanax. It's your girl, Tika Deshaun, ushering in a new tale entitled The Faces of Joan. Okay, so when we're introduced to Joan, we see her as this quiet, um, not so loud spoken individual um, that is supposedly in good with Elder Mother Marva. Um, Elder Mother Marva says that, you know, she says to Elder Mother Agnes, we're gonna have Joan pretend to be friends with um, Ruth and Tally, and we're gonna try, we're gonna, we're gonna have her um, tell the ladies, basically Tally, um, tell her that we want, that she wants to escape and she wants to leave the Rockadish compound. The circumstances are so bad. She didn't think it would be the way that it is. And basically, that's what, um, you know, at first, Joan is like, they're not going to believe me. But then Elder Mother Marva and Agnes go ahead and convince her, yeah, go ahead and just, you know, just do what you have to do. Uh, pretend like you're, you know, you're trying to leave the Rockadushi compound. And just go, just do it and see what happens. So... That's exactly what Joan does. Uh, she goes to Tally and she tells her, I know that you want to leave the Rakadushi compound. I know that you're not happy. I know I see how you look when, um, you know, I've seen you go to the punishment trailer um, many times and I just know that you're not happy here. And she says to her, I can actually help you um, escape. And that's when she tells her, that I have a um my uncle will meet us when we go shopping and you can get your daughter and leave. Um and this now mind you this is what you know this is the story that we think that um Joan has made up so that Tally would kind of believe her. You know Tally has a of course she has a um strong you know she loves her daughter and would do pretty much anything to get away from the Rockadusha compound with her daughter. Um, but Joan, you know, we're trying to figure out, are you playing games? What games are you playing? Because when you fast forward to a new episode, Joan is now talking to River. And as we know, River is scheming and plotting to uh, get off of the Rockadusha compound. Um, he's doing it by, he's trying to do it by being extremely friendly with, um, the highest making enemies with Daikon in the process, but he's still, you know, he has gotten good in with the highest. And so Marva, so I'm sorry, Joan and River, you know, they're plotting, they have this whole thing where, okay, well, we're going to leave. Um, but we're not going to leave without money. We've been through more than enough. So let's just get this money and, and then we can figure out how to get up out of here. So the next thing, you know, Joan comes up with this plan. Like she says, she has her, her uncle meeting with a car, but this is a different plan where there's, um, a group of cult members that are attempting to escape the Rockadushi compound. Now they go and attempt to escape but end up getting themselves murdered um at this point joan begins to act as if she's just so upset that the people have been murdered um by the highest um as if this wasn't you know like she didn't know according to the way she's reacting and she's so sorrowful and she's crying and so upset about the whole situation. She didn't know that they would actually get caught. She didn't know that, um, they would be, you know, slaughtered. The highest literally slaughtered them. So she didn't know this was going to happen. So now their blood is on her hands. Okay. So another thing, then we find out, um, once Tally and Joan are placed in the same trailer together and in the same room, um, we find out that Joan has children that are there at the Rakatushi compound. Now, throughout the whole process of ever um, her talking to whether it was River or Tally or even, you know, even Ruth, she never mentioned the fact that she had kids. 
So now we're trying to understand, like, you know, okay, so you got you have kids on the Rockadushi compound. Um, why aren't you trying to see them? I understand you you say that you're trying to get the money and so on and so forth, but what about your kids? Like, at that point, when did you wake up and realize that you did it the cult the Rockadushi compound wasn't what you thought it was and that you really wanted to leave? That's you know, at what point did any of this happen? Was it was it through a contact a conversation? with river and how did how are you and river even affiliated like how do you guys even know each other and where and when did you guys create the courage to even discuss trying to basically scheme the highest and take all his money because we also know that uh joan is an accountant so she knows how to flip money and transfer it from one account to the other without you know anybody really missing it so there's a lot of faces to joan there are so many there are many faces to joan um so many dimensions to joan um but my question is who is the true joan is the, is joan the one that really wants to lead the rockadushi compound or is she someone that is gathering information so that she can report it back to Daikon or report it to the highest so that, you know, she can save her hind parts and everybody else is trying to plot against the highest. She, you know, they will be in trouble and not her. Now, once again, like I said, we don't know. We really don't know what Joan's true motives are. Um, at the end of the day, as always, we'll have to wait until the new season or actually until season two returns to find out, you know, what are her motives? What is, why is she really, you know, trying to allegedly get the money from the Raku? Um, why is she in on a plot with River? And how did her and River even connect to this point to where they're willing to risk everything um, to escape the Rakadushi compound. And not just escape the Rakadushi compound, but take their money when they go. So, yeah, but that's about it, you guys. I just wanted to stop in and chat a little bit about Joan. Um, thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Um, for those of you who are subscribed to our channel, um, we have a Facebook page as well as an event page where we are planning, we, the Ruthless fans, are planning a four-day, four five-night, or excuse me, four-night, five-day cruise um, to uh, leaving from out of Miami, um, going to um, Nassau, Bahamas, and returning to Miami. Um, there's a stop also in between there, but anyway, all the information is on our event page. Um, uh, I will put the event link, the event page link, um, in the comments below or in the description below, um, as well as our Facebook page, which is all things ruthless, um, on Facebook. I am, we are also on, um, Instagram as original tp with this fans and we are also on twitter as tp with this fans okay um of course i will put everything in the description um and that's about it we are taking the cruise um it's not a scam it's not a game it's not anything pretend we the ruthless fans are planning to take a cruise and I am trying my best to get at least one cast member of the show to be a part of our cruise. Now, I can't guarantee that right at this moment, but I can promise you that I am doing all that I can to have at least one cast member on this show. But it can't happen unless you guys are willing to, you know, participate as well. So we need people to cruise with us. So... Um, we have a payment plan available for everyone who's willing um, to participate. So you don't have to pay everything in full. Um, not at the very moment. Um, you have a deposit that is due. And then after that, you can book your room. Um, 
It's up to you how fast you want to pay everything. But like I said, everything is listed in our event page. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, message me. Um, but make sure you are following all of our social media platforms so that you will receive all the notifications that you need in regards to our event. And we are going to have some fun. We love Ruthless. We're, we, the fans, are definitely going to have fun. It is my mission to make sure that we, the Ruthless fans, and even create new fans, um, have a great time. Okay? All right, you guys. That's about it. Thank you for stopping by. Um, and those of you who are newcomers, please feel free to subscribe as well as hit the notification bell for all notification of new content. Okay, thank you guys and have a great Monday.